Chapter 3, Classes and Objects. Primitive Variables and Reference Variables. Object variables, also called the reference variables, are different from primitive variables that we've learned in Chapter 2. Now that we've learned to create objects, it's time to see how the reference variables are different from primitive variables. Primitive data types are provided by Java, such as integer, double, and Boolean. Let's look at an example that will make clear the difference between primitive variables and reference variables. Integer A is 10. Integer B is 5. B is A. A is assigned 2. What is A? What is B? Guess the output. B is assigned 10. A is 2. Therefore, the answer is A is 2. B is 10. Let's look at this example. Object type circle C1 is created with attribute of color yellow. Object type circle C2 is created with attribute of color blue. C2 is assigned C1. Then C1's color is set to pink. What color is C1? C2. The answer is pink for both C1 and C2. Let's see how C1 and C2 both have color pink. Object reference variables don't hold the actual value. It only holds the address of where the data resides in the memory. Try printing object reference C1 and you'll get this memory address. In other words, reference variable points to where the object is located. Assign C2 reference variable C1. Note that reference variables points to an object and is not the object itself. C2 is assigned the object location of C1. So now C2 is pointing at the same object as C1. Then color blue object, which is no longer referenced by any variable, is thrown out by Java garbage collector. Next, C1 object is set color pink. Because C1 and C2 are pointing at the same object, when color is printed, they both print pink. <laughs>